This short presentation covers pronoun usage. Pronouns are words that take the place of another noun. For example, Joanne is unhappy with the photo. She has her eyes closed. She takes the place of Joanne, and so does her. If we didn't have pronouns, otherwise we would have to say Joanne is unhappy with the photo. Joanne has Joanne's eyes closed. So you can see how pronouns take the place of other nouns in the sentence. When you use a pronoun, you must always be sure that it agrees with its antecedent. Singular nouns require singular pronouns. Plural nouns require plural pronouns. For example, the cat likes its new bed. Marguerite had an accident with her new car. The ticket holders hurried to their seats. When you have an indefinite pronoun, such as one of these shown on the slide, remember that they are almost always singular. For example, each of the students wanted to see his or her grade. Each is singular, so his or her must be singular. It would not be correct to say each of the students wanted to see their grade. If you are using a pronoun, such as one of these, and you don't like to use his or her, then you need to change your sentence. A way around it would be to use the plural noun, the students wanted to see their grades. This way, the noun students is plural, and so is the pronoun. When you use a pronoun, be sure that you have a clear antecedent. It, you've got to be sure that your reader can tell what the pronoun refers to. For example, they said I should take another semester of calculus. Well, who is they? It's not clear. Michael told Rory that he passed the test. In the sentence, we're not sure who he refers to. Was it Michael or Rory who passed the test? So both of these sentences need to be modified for clarity. When you use a pronoun, you use either the first person, second person, or third person. The first person refers to the speaker or writer. The second person refers to the person being addressed. And the third person refers to everyone else. For example, the first person pronouns include I, me, my, or mine, if we're talking singular. If we're talking plural, then the first person pronouns are we, us, our, and ours. The second person point of view pronouns don't change. They're you, your, and yours for both singular and plural. And then you can see the third person singular pronouns. He, him, his, she, her, hers, it, and its for singular. For plural, it's they, them, their, and theirs. When you write, make sure that you stay, stay in the same point of view. Don't shift between one point of view and another. For example, the sentence is a little confusing. What I like best about vacation is that you don't have to set an alarm. That doesn't really make sense, does it? This would be better. What I like best about vacation is that I don't have to set an alarm. Okay, so make sure that when you use a pronoun, you stay in the same point of view. For more information, check out the OWL at Purdue's website at this address.